Okay, so this is the China bot, and this is the Tesla bot. Yeah, we're not sure who would win if they got into a martial arts match, but Optimus Gen 5 was mentioned by Elon Musk, and it can absolutely cook like a human, preparing a full meal in just two hours. This is only the beginning, and that's not even the biggest surprise. It can even assist humans with doing laundry, a task that the Chinese robot will likely take another decade to achieve. The Tesla bot has gone through several design revisions and many upgraded generations. Gen 5 is the most premium version and is also the largest mass production version, as confirmed by Elon Musk. You know, we'll do Optimus 4, that'll be, you know, 10 million units. Optimus 5, maybe 50 to 100 million units. I mean, it's really pretty nutty. Anyone can own an Optimus robot for household chores, and you can even ask them to give you a massage. You might be skeptical, but the utility of the Tesla Bot Gen 5 is absolutely real, and this robot has demonstrated many incredible tasks before it reaches the customers. So, how powerful will the Tesla Bot Gen 5 be, and will these robots impact human jobs? Here's what Elon Musk has confirmed, starting right now. Just recently, Elon Musk further emphasized on X that Optimus will eliminate poverty and provide universal high income for all. This is not the first time the Tesla CEO has mentioned this, because at last week's event, Elon Musk already proclaimed the insane capabilities of the humanoid robot, he said. But actually, Optimus will actually eliminate poverty. Optimus will actually give people incredible medical care. Now, what do you think about the idea of a robot assisting you with house cleaning, cooking, and childcare? We think the first thing you'd do is fire your housekeeper, right? Yeah, this means that Optimus will cause a lot of housekeepers to lose their jobs, and that's why it's hated. Elon Musk candidly acknowledged this aspect, writing on X, AI and robots will replace all jobs. Working will be optional, like growing your own vegetables instead of buying them from the store. Yeah, even though the Tesla Bot Gen 5 hasn't been released yet, the fact that it can replace humans is something Elon Musk doesn't deny. Even the job of a chef, it can absolutely take on because it has essentially been able to cook in a very short time, just two hours, for the test in Palo Alto. The ability to cook is the decisive measure of whether Optimus has crossed the engineering threshold or not, because cooking requires a perfect combination of coordination, perception, dexterity, and practical intelligence. Of course, the Tesla bot doesn't have a human brain, nor does it have hands as good as a human's, so cooking can be considered an extremely difficult task for a robot. Simply put, if it can't hold or peel an egg without breaking it, the task will fail. You know, even making a simple fried egg involves a complex chain of actions. Opening the refrigerator, identifying the ingredients, picking up the egg without breaking it, turning on the stove, monitoring the temperature, and adding cooking oil. That's quite a multi-step process. But while Optimus Gen 3 could only gently hold an egg, Optimus Gen 5 is now capable of using a pan, cracking the egg, cooking it, and retrieving it when done a near-perfect capability. To achieve this, Elon Musk stated that the engineering team trained Optimus for as long as possible. They sought to train Optimus until it reached the highest possible accuracy, making almost no mistakes. This effort expanded the number of operations and tasks from 3,000 to 6,000 for the Tesla Bot Gen 5, nearly double the number of tasks compared to Gen 3. This incredible scalability of tasks also stems partly from Optimus's brain, which is fundamentally not a conventional brain. Elon Musk calls it a real brain. With the Tesla Bot Gen 5, it can watch a tutorial video on YouTube about how to prepare a meal or clean, and then self-train billions of times in a virtual environment, refining its movements before seamlessly applying them to the real world. The fact that the robot can be programmed to cook a complete dinner allows humans to return home after a tiring day of work and be served, completely transferring the burdens of domestic chores Alongside its cooking abilities, Optimus being able to handle laundry at home is the clearest proof of its intelligence and dexterity in a real living environment. Because doing laundry isn't just a physical task, it's a sequence of complex steps that require reasoning and judgment. The first thing Optimus has to do is sort the dirty clothes. This is far from simple, since the robot must use its AI vision system to accurately identify the color, fabric type, and level of dirt on each item. To avoid damaging clothes or causing white garments to bleed, a challenge that even humans sometimes mess up. After sorting, the robot needs to use the incredibly precise hands of the Gen 5 version to pick up the clothes and place them into the washing machine, a process that requires just the right amount of grip strength, not too strong to tear the fabric and not too weak to drop it. 
Measuring the exact amount of detergent or softener based on the load size is another step that requires calculation and the ability to handle different bottles in the kitchen or laundry room. Once the wash cycle is done, Optimus has to open the machine door and lift each wet, heavy item out, then move it to the dryer or hang it on a clothesline, which demands strength and good balance. However, the hardest part is always folding the clothes. This is a delicate task that industrial robots usually can't handle, because every shirt or pair of pants comes out of the dryer with a different shape and softness. Optimus has to recognize the type of clothing, identify the necessary folds, and perform the smoothing and folding motions accurately. Its biggest advantage in overcoming this challenge is its ability to learn from video. It can watch an online tutorial on how to fold a dress shirt and then reliably apply that process on its own. The fact that Optimus can complete the entire laundry cycle, from sorting to neatly folding and putting clothes away, means it could free families from hours of tedious chores every week. So uh, the, 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 the scale of, of, of Optimus, like I said, that's really gonna be something else. Um, I think it's gonna be the biggest product of all time, by far. Yeah. So, like bigger than cell phones, bigger than anything. During the Tesla shareholder meeting, Elon Musk emphasized that Optimus is truly the greatest product of all time, surpassing even the smartphone in terms of scale and impact. He predicts that within a few decades, every person on Earth will want to own their own robot, much like R2-D2 or C-3PO in Star Wars, but smarter more useful, and most importantly, more human-like. These Tesla robots won't just clean up or carry things. They will also be able to assist in surgery with extraordinary precision beyond human capability. Optimus will outperform even the best human surgeon, Musk affirmed. He believes this robot could eliminate poverty and bring great health care to all. This is Elon Musk's greatest promise. Technology not only makes money, but can also save the world. Tesla's CEO claims that Tesla bot could be produced in quantities far exceeding electric vehicles. For Optimus Gen 5 alone, the company is already planning to manufacture 100 million units. And yes, Elon Musk's confidence isn't without basis. He revealed that most of the raw materials needed to build Optimus already exist inside Tesla's factories, while several remaining components have been negotiated with suppliers. The electric cars Tesla produces are essentially four-wheeled robots that are already fully autonomous with CyberCab RoboTaxis being the prime example Tesla vehicles are equipped with batteries, power electronics, motors, gearboxes, network connectivity, vision-based AI, processing chips, and autonomous fleet management capabilities, all of which are the core components of a full humanoid robot. From this perspective, Musk insists that Tesla is currently the world's largest robot manufacturer. Optimus is simply a robot that swaps wheels for arms and legs. However, Musk admits that three extremely difficult factors have prevented other companies from building truly effective robots. Advanced arm and hand engineering, real-world artificial intelligence, and scalable mass production. There's really three things that are super difficult about robots. One is the engineering of the forearm and hand, uh, because the human hand is an, an incredible, incredible thing, actually. Currently, Optimus version 2.5 shows notable improvements in appearance, with smoother lines, neatly covered joints, and a shift from a bulky design to a more rounded and friendly look. Version 2.5 has also been integrated with XAI's Grok Voice Assistant, allowing the robot to answer questions using speech, a major step forward compared to previous versions. However, Musk insists that Optimus 2.5 is far from the peak. Optimus Gen 5 will be a true leap forward. This version focuses on expanding the range of useful tasks the robot can perform most notably its superior household abilities, including cooking and cleaning. Remarkably, Optimus Gen 5 will feature an upgraded battery life, allowing the robot to work continuously for 15 hours after just one hour of charging. Musk is confident that Optimus Gen 5 will be capable of preparing breakfast and dinner, cleaning the house, and doing laundry just like a real household. Butler, thanks to its self-learning and imitation abilities, Optimus could complete up to 100 extended tasks per day. To enable Optimus Gen 5 to cook or perform complex tasks, Tesla has poured tremendous effort and investment into the robot's brain. And Arms Musk has repeatedly admitted that building a pair of dexterous hands is the biggest challenge, and mass-producing thousands or millions of these hands is a hundred times harder. Musk pointed out that the human hand is an evolutionary marvel, with more than 27 degrees of freedom and a complex system of tendons and muscles that is both powerful and precise. If we want to create 
a truly versatile robot, the hand problem has to be solved thoroughly. This is exactly where most other robotics companies fail. They can build machines that run, jump, or even box, but they cannot create a hand capable of peeling an orange or washing vegetables under running water. As we mentioned earlier, Tesla testing Optimus with cooking tasks in a real kitchen environment is the ultimate exam, one that demands seamless integration of dexterous hands, cognitive intelligence, and real-time action coordination. Even a simple meal requires the robot to open the refrigerator, recognize ingredients, turn on the stove, remember the recipe, and time everything correctly. And look, the robotic arms Tesla uses in its factories can weld car frames with incredible speed and accuracy, but they only work well in fixed, pre-programmed environments. Put them in a dynamic kitchen, and they're completely helpless. Optimus Gen 5 has to break through this barrier. Optimus will ultimately be better than the best human surgeon, with a level of precision that, that isn't possible, that, that, that is beyond human. According to Elon Musk, the biggest challenge facing the global healthcare system doesn't lie in funding or infrastructure, it's the shortage of medical expertise. He points out that even the wealthiest countries suffer from a severe lack of highly skilled surgeons. From the observation, Musk proposed a bold idea mass-producing, ultra-precise surgical robots to eliminate this limitation. Once Optimus enters full factory production like any other mechanical product, millions of identical robots could roll off the assembly line and be deployed simultaneously in hospitals around the world. Musk describes the Gen 5 version of Optimus as capable of performing any medical procedure, even those so complex that humans can't do them. With the robot's superior stability and precision, the healthcare industry could scale exponentially, much like manufacturing did in the industrial era, achieving what traditional human labor never could. He believes that the shift will make the access to high-quality healthcare universal, rather than a privilege restricted by cost or geography. Instead of waiting years to train a top-tier physician, hospitals could simply deploy robots programmed to operate without errors. Although Optimus is still in its early stages and cannot yet perform real medical procedures, Musk emphasizes that the rapid advancement of AI and robotics is bringing this ambitious vision closer than ever. However, alongside all the benefits and advantages Tesla Bot brings to users, there is one concern that Elon Musk has openly acknowledged. Specifically, Musk has raised the issue of safety and security for robots before they are deployed on a wide scale. He understands that introducing a machine capable of movement, physical interaction, and decision-making into human living and working environments is anything but simple. Musk has repeatedly emphasized that developing a humanoid robot isn't just a race for functionality or speed, it's a battle to ensure the robot never harms people. In presentations and interviews, he consistently prioritizes creating reliable safety mechanisms. This includes features such as near-instant emergency stop capabilities, limits on physical force to prevent injury, and highly sensitive sensors that can detect and avoid humans safely. Essentially, Optimus must be programmed to operate under an absolute human-first protection principle, even if it malfunctions or misinterprets commands. And you know, Musk has often said that if one robot can cook, then millions of Optimus units can cook too. In other words, data from one robot is shared across the entire fleet. This is truly both an advantage and a serious concern for users. Why do we say that? Well, when millions of robots are connected to each other and have access to sensitive environments, such as factories, hospitals, or even private homes, the risk of cyber attacks becomes enormous. A single compromised robot could cause serious physical damage or be exploited for malicious purposes. For that reason, Tesla must build an extremely robust security architecture. Musk acknowledges that the AI systems controlling Optimus must be protected with advanced layers of encryption and strict authentication processes to guard against unauthorized access. Security isn't limited to the control software. It also includes the protection of the data the robot collects. For example, Optimus could potentially expose patient information or leak corporate trade secrets. Sounds pretty serious, right? That's why ensuring data privacy and integrity is non-negotiable. And then there's the never-ending debate. Will Tesla bot cause unemployment? To be honest, the fact that Tesla's humanoid robot Optimus is getting closer to becoming a reality has sparked intense discussions about the future of work. 
It's understandable that people worry Optimus will take human jobs, especially those that are repetitive, basic, or require minimal skills. At its core, Optimus is designed to replace human labor in tasks that are heavy, dangerous, and monotonous. When a robot can work continuously without breaks and operate with higher accuracy, businesses have strong incentives to replace human workers with machines to optimize costs and boost productivity. The foundational intelligence of Optimus, combined with its ability to learn and adapt through AI, makes it an ideal candidate to replace millions of low-skill laborers worldwide, and that is absolutely something businesses will invest in. However, if we take a comprehensive view of the issue, the emergence of Optimus also represents a force that creates new jobs and enhances human capabilities. Like every industrial revolution before, automation does not eliminate jobs. It shifts them to new areas. Of course, for an army of Optimus robots to operate, a massive ecosystem is required. This demands thousands of AI engineers, robotic scientists, security experts, robot technicians, and robot operators slash supervisors. These positions require high-level skills and offer attractive salaries. We believe that Optimus has the potential to free humans from monotonous and hazardous work, allowing us to move into roles that demand greater creativity, areas where robots are unlikely to replace us in the near future. As Elon Musk wrote on X, which we mentioned at the beginning of the video, working will be optional, like growing your own vegetables instead of buying them from the store. With its experience producing millions of vehicles each year, its AI engineering team behind full self-driving, and, most importantly, its massive industrial automation pipeline, Tesla is the only company that possesses all three of these ingredients. Something rivals like Boston Dynamics, Xpeng, or Unitree still lack. Many analysts believe that Musk is deliberately setting a new standard leaving competitors, especially China's emerging robotics companies, struggling to catch up. While other humanoid robots are still grappling with stable walking or simple manipulation tasks, Tesla has positioned Optimus as a versatile helper, ready to play an active role in both household and industrial settings. The success of Gen 5 in complex daily life tasks demonstrates that Tesla has addressed the challenges of durability, precision, and decision-making in real-world environments. This reinforces Musk's vision, deploying millions of Optimus robots in every factory and home, ushering in an era of large-scale robotization, and cementing Tesla's absolute leadership in the global humanoid robotics race. Above all, what do you think about humanoid robots like Optimus you will feel exciting or scary? Would you let a robot cook or clean in your house? Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tech updates. Share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear which robot feature excites or worries you the most. See you in the next video.